there is this video in the engineering with Rosie channel that basically explains why uh, modern wind turbine usually have three blades it's really good i suggest you have a look i'll put a link in the description um, and one of the things he talks about is the problems of yawing a two-bladed wind turbine um, it goes like this so if you have a, a wind turbine with two blades like this one here when the blades are vertical the moment of inertia of the rotor around the yaw axis so you know around the, the, the vertical axis here is much smaller than when the blades are horizontal like this and i mean that makes sense right you can imagine that it's much harder to turn the rotor uh, when the blades are like this because there's much more mass away from the away from the yaw axis so this is the case for a two-bladed wind turbine but not for three blades so if i change to a three-bladed wind turbine here now the amount of mass away from the axis is always the same no matter no matter what the azimuth angle is and uh, this has consequences when we when we yaw the wind turbine so we're gonna have a look at this now if i plot the yaw angle here and if i plot uh, the wind as well so this square here that's my wind field and if i change the wind direction to 45 degrees then you can see how the, the yaw angle increases so this controller is just a basic pid controller so nothing fancy but the point here is just to see how the the angle is smoothly increasing there's no there's no vibrations or anything it's just like kind of steadily increasing and then eventually it will reach uh, 45 degrees if i try to do this with a two-bladed wind turbine it's going to look a bit different and we're going to have a look at that just now so I do the same thing, I start my simulation and I change the wind direction to 45 degrees. And now what happens, if I slow down the simulation, is that when the blades are vertical and it's easier to rotate around the yaw axis, the yaw angle increases much faster than when the blades are horizontal, which is what you see here. So now the, the yaw angle is, going, is increasing more slowly and then when the blades are vertical again, it will increase faster. Um, yeah, so I can go back to normal speed. Um, so that's the problem with this uh, two-bladed wind turbine is that you get this kind of this vibration here in the yaw angle, which is gonna well, it's gonna translate into structural vibrations within the the wind turbine, and uh, yeah, that's problematic. So that's uh, that's the problem that Rosie talks about, and, and she says how. You know, it's it's not, you can overcome it by designing your uh, controller properly, but it's something that you have to consider when you have a two-bladed wind turbine. So I hope this made sense. Uh, that's all for this video. If you have any questions uh, or other things that you want to know about, don't hesitate to write it in the comments. And yeah, like and subscribe if you if you feel like. See you around.